The third area of the business is coaching. Uh, and most of our coaching clients are at senior levels within organizations. One of the one of the, the, the challenges in that is that oftentimes it's actually a, a client organization that brings us in to perhaps do coaching with a number of their senior people. The first thing that we have to do is really set the ground rules. Who is who is our client? Where does the confidentiality lie? So we meet with the the um, the, the client, if you like the client organization first. We look at why is this person doing coaching? What is it that the organization expects? Once we have that, there's then an agreement drawn up, a charter between Ignition and the client company that said, yes, we take this and from here on in, everything that happens between us and the client coachee is confidential. That's something that's really important because if there isn't trust between the coachee and the coach, actually no work will be done. The coachee will not feel comfortable, they won't be honest, they won't really talk about their fears or their hopes or their dreams or whatever it is, the stuff that's really hard for them to do within their organisation because they'll be afraid that it will go back to somebody. The way that we ensure that confidentiality and trust is that we actually sign a contract. So Ignition, the, co the Ignition coach signs a contract uh, that, that sp specifies the confidentiality of the relationship and the coachee also signs a contract that says that they are prepared to try new things, that in fact they won't necessarily go back and talk through things until they're, uh, they're ready to put the new behaviours into practice. So there's a, what makes it successful is the trust between the coach and the coachee.